Do you ever get that feeling that you're just letting life pass you by? I feel like that's been me for the past few days. Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashikaran and welcome back for day 19 in my month of planning with me series. Before we get into the planning for today though, first for today's tidbit. For today's tidbit I'm showing you guys our new bookcase. As you might remember, Vogel and I got a bookcase a couple of weeks ago now and we've put this downstairs in our living room to hold some things, mostly not books. <laughs> On our top shelf we have our soft toy collection, so Bulbasaur, Tyranitar, a Tasmanian devil called Doggo, Domokun, Scotty Dog, Gengar, and Squirtle. On the next shelf down we have Vaughn's TV series DVD collection, so we have Top Gear, Friends, Red vs Blue, Ruby, Game of Thrones, True Blood, and The Walking With collection. The next shelf down is actually the only one that has books, and they're pretty much all recipe books. There's also a box of assorted chocolates that I got for Christmas last year. And on the end, because it wouldn't fit on the shelf above it, we also have Vaughn's Outrageous Fortune DVDs. At the moment, the bottom shelf is really just being used for storage. Our other bookshelf lives in the study, and this one does have more books on it. Originally this one was downstairs where the new one now lives, but because we then didn't have any storage for the books we have up in the study, we decided to move it up here. The top of this bookcase is reserved for Vogel's Lego. But on the first shelf we have all of my bullet journals, I have a box that has some electronic equipment in it, and then some various non-fiction books including some for school like the ESA study guides, and some for myself like The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. On the next shelf down we mainly have Vogel's books, my Harry Potter books, and my Scentsy Rock. Then another shelf of Lego and Vogel's graduation picture, and on the bottom shelf we have more Lego and more of Vogel's books. You can see we don't have very many fiction books on our shelves. For my planning today we are on to the other side of the Dutch door, and as you can see I only have one thing on there at the moment, but I do have some other things that I want to jot down. That's all that I can think of at the moment, I'm sure there's going to be a couple of other things that I need to add as the day goes on, but I'm going to leave it there. In terms of my 3x3 reflection, you can see that I've pretty much abandoned doing it in here. It is a bit of a shame, I know that previously it has been really helpful to write them down, but this week I have just been exhausted and the thought of doing extra writing has kind of been off-putting. Before we go back and have a look at my monthly pages, I did want to suss out this one here, which is my front of Bujo pages. I know there are some trackers up there that haven't been filled in for a while, so I'd like to go tackle those. So really the first one is my class countdown. Each of the squares on here represent one of the lessons that I have for each week of each term in each of my classes. So some of these do need to be coloured in because we're now at the end of the first week of term four. I have talked about it previously, but any greyed out box on here is just when I don't have a lesson. So for instance, in week 3 and 4 of term 3, my senior classes had their exams, so you can see there's quite a few greyed out boxes along there. In terms of my year 8s, every second week we only have 3 lessons rather than 4, which is why you have this alternating grey and not grey box. Flipping forward... So I can cross off that the end of Friday's lessons did happen. And in terms of my preparations for next week... And those are the lessons that I have things prepared for. I do need to go and fill out dates on this one. Flipping over again. So nothing to update here. 
Nothing to update here. I can do some updating on this one. And I think that's all I have to update in the front. Yep. So on to my monthly pages. So next birthday celebration hasn't quite happened yet and I don't have anything else to add on here. Nothing to cross off here. Habits. And for social media, I do need to think of some other posts to put down here, but I'm going to do that later. For my challenges, again, waiting until budgeting, active minutes didn't happen. <laughs> for yesterday's word, I'm going to put tired. <laughs> Because I swear, all of yesterday I was just in this fog of sleep deprivation. And while I'm here, I might as well go and colour the rest of these in. Over to my meal log. So the only meal I've actually had since my last video is breakfast. And for my power sheets. So next birthday celebration hasn't happened quite yet, so I can't tick that one off. But for my daily action items for yesterday... So mindful eating and addressing YouTube comments did happen, but the other three did not. I can also check off at this stage that we have done our meal planning, but I'm first going to erase the number so that I don't have to try and erase it after I put the pen down. That's where I'm going to leave it for today. Thank you for watching team, and I hope you enjoyed today's tidbit in particular. I don't really have a lot of books on my bookshelves, but I would love to hear about some of the favourites you guys have on yours. If you want to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos, and until next time, bye!